Welcome to this short screencast on installing memory in a HP 530 notebook. Over the next three minutes we're going to be removing the factory installed 512MB RAM and replacing it with two memory sticks of 1GB each, taking the total installed RAM to 2GB. Now if you've never installed RAM before in a notebook then don't worry, it's very quick, safe and easy to do and it's by far the cheapest way to speed up your notebook. Once you have your new RAM installed you'll notice that it boots up faster, loads applications quicker and makes switching between programs far easier than before. It's like a new supercharged notebook making you more productive in everything that you do. Before we install the new RAM let's run through some standard preparation. First before you handle the new RAM make sure you are static free as static electricity can damage your RAM modules and the components inside the notebook. So before we start briefly touch a grounded metal object such as a radiator pipe or the screws next to a light switch. Next make sure the notebook is switched off and all additional devices such as printers and scanners are disconnected from the computer. If you've been using the notebook recently let it cool down before you attempt to install the new RAM. To be absolutely 100% sure there is no power going into the notebook I always remove the battery which you can easily do on a HP 530 by pushing the two side tabs inwards until the battery clicks and pops out. Then simply remove it from the notebook. Next we need to remove the cover to expose the memory modules. To do this you will need a small Phillips screwdriver. After you've loosened the screw you'll be able to simply lift and remove the access panel. You will now be able to see the notebook memory and module sockets. Let's take a closer look. Each memory module is secured by two arm latches. These are small plastic arms about 2cm long. There are four in total. Two that hold the top module which is currently empty and two that hold the bottom module which is currently filled with a 512 megabyte memory module. What we're going to be doing is removing the factory installed 512 megabyte RAM and replace it with two 1 gigabyte memory modules. You can buy these online at it247.com. The first thing we need to do is move the wires away from the memory so we can get clear access to the old memory module. All you need to do now is move the arms a few millimeters outwards and the memory module will spring out like so. Ok let's see that again. I'll press it back into place so the arms lock in again. To release the memory just move the arms a few millimeters outwards. Grasp the memory module with the edge and gently ease it out and it's as simple as that. Next we will add the first 1GB memory module to the notebook. The modules are keyed with notches for proper alignment. Carefully line it up. Push it in gently at a 30 degree angle until the teeth are firmly in place. Once the teeth are correctly aligned Press it back until your locking arms hold it in position. One down and one to go. Repeat the exercise again ensuring that the notch lines up with the notch on the memory socket. You may need to gently tease it in place but you should not have to apply excessive pressure. Once the teeth are aligned press the module gently backwards until the arms lock in place. There we go, you have successfully installed the new RAM. All you need to do now is replace the panel. You can now reconnect the battery and check the memory has been installed. Checking to see if the memory configuration has been updated is very simple. Click the start button and go to the control panel. If classic view is not showing, click on it on the left navigation panel and then go to system. Under the system you should now be able to see the RAM installed. There you have it, congratulations you've now successfully upgraded your RAM. Thank you for watching, remember IT247.com has over 40,000 products available online including a wide range of memory upgrades. We look forward to seeing you online soon.